I recently learned about butterfly pea flowers and how one can take these dried flowers and put them in hot water and brew them into a sort of a tea that has a whole bunch of anthocyanin compounds. And here is what the tea looks like, or this bluish color, and deionized water. And you can see that it's a pretty blue color, and uh, we, we filtered this to get the uh, uh, flower pieces out. But uh, what's nice is that with all these anthocyanins making this pretty blue color, um, we can use this as a really nice indicator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to a variety of different solutions. So what I have here is some pure water, or deionized water rather. Put that in there and it has sort of a bluish color. Okay, so I'll set that over here. And I'm going to use some tap water. It's pretty hard water in our area. And you can see that it has a somewhat different color. Okay. So what we have here again is pure water, we have tap water, okay, and I have some vinegar here, whoop, not blue anymore. vinegar. Okay. And now I have a solution that's really loaded up, saturated with baking soda. And that's not blue either. It's not pink either. Okay. So this is, I'll just call it baking soda. And here's some lemon lime soda. <laughs> That's not pink, nor is it green, nor is it blue, sort of a purple color. So we'll call that, scooch that up a little bit here. up a little bit, make it easier to see. And we're going to take some household ammonia. Put that in there. Oh, so this one turned green. Kind of like the baking soda. ammonia solution. All right, so this is going to be one molar hydrochloric acid, pink color, kind of reminds me of the vinegar, only a bit brighter, right? So I'm going to call this one molar hydrochloric acid. Okay. And finally, this is going to be one molar sodium hydroxide. So one 
molar sodium hydroxide solution. So we get a lot of beautiful colors from this tea. 